So here we go. So this is the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. I don't know very much about it other than the way uh, it was described on Steam when I found it. It's, I think it's fighting fantasy or fantasy fight. I think it's fighting fantasy. It's fighting fantasy. Yeah, which is a, it was a book series of pretty involved choose your own adventure s yeah books. where where it's like a like a pen and paper rpg yeah. like they got real deep on some of them and, so, they expect, and they expected you to like draw a map out and stuff yeah and that's about all i know and i'm like yes i want this so we're gonna experience it together uh i think we're gonna focus on like role playing it rather than trying to game the system so we are i am since this is old school i'm pretty sure we're gonna die quickly and then quite often do they let you put your finger in the page if you fuck up so you can just go back i don't know because that's we'll how find everybody out. in the world actually plays them let's uh let's click this thing oh welcome back i have not played this before welcome so, back player but apparently we know that her name is oriana uh, she has met us before yeah, for some hey, reason hey that guy is doing a hundred with my hand very nice with a Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome to subscribers. So she is Oriana, the Keeper of Souls, our guide and your game master of sorts. Many ad many adventures have entered Firetop Mountain over the last thirty years or so. The warlock. Voracious readers have wandered the many passages, battling the monsters within and. Uh, Maybe they should send actual warriors instead of readers. Yeah, and only then take on the might of Sark. Oh, there's a cat in front of me. I can't see anything. Here we go. With skill, stamina, and luck, they've chosen their many path and rolled their fate. Okay, so I guess that's... You appear to be the next brave soul to take on the mountain and all its content. To those, you'll need to choose an Al Alancian, Alancian hero to take into the mountain. Okay. Don't get too comfortable with the choice. Okay, fine. Let's see. So... We have a... Oh, can I be the guy in the background? No. He just nah, gives me advice. He just gives you advice. Okay, so we can be Lunika Ikardi. I think. Or uh, Dakon Strom. Alexandra of Black Sand. Or Aran Gottspeed. Oh, wait. <laughs> there's more? Okay, I don't think Good. these are probably... These are probably not unlocked. Yeah, okay, so I have to yeah. buy them. You gotta uh, buy them with your soul. So this guy has a lot of stamina, some skill, keen decent luck. Okay, okay, so she's a keen explorer. Yeah. Sure. She's got Let's a, see what... Hold, holding that spear, like, check me out. We've got to bring a knife yeah, in. Yeah, Shank so she... Up. Front attack, single attack on the left. And the left... Wow, that's... Okay. So... Poison, all right, sure. Right. This this dude has lots more stamina. That dude that dude's got a wild face though. More okay, so they seem to be pretty even. All of these. This wow. dude, this dude is not lucky, but he's real tough, and he definitely looks like the yeah. dude most likely to go hoopla when he adventures. But don't we want a lot of luck, or do we want hoopla? I don't know. I mean, you make your own luck. Yeah. What about uh, that I think with the cutlass, though? Yeah, uh, Lord Deluxe says he's beaten the game any times. If you want advice or hints, I think the first time in, I think we're just gonna roll with it and get brutally destroyed, and then later, if we if we want to play some more, I think it's time to get some advice and hints. But people seem to be maximum hoopla. Yeah, let's go. Hoopla. He attributes <laughs> illiterate. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> One popular theory is that giant's blood runs in, in his veins from some distance. Someone fuck the giant? Yeah. Oh, blade storm. Okay. Uh, let's select this dude. Okay. We have chosen Aran Gottspeed. If you like, you may select a different hero. No, we're fine. If you're happy, we may travel to Firetop Mountain. Alternatively, if you want to take part in the combat tutorial, activate free read mode, or want to learn more about the rules of the game. You know what? I think we should do tutorial rules yeah, and free read. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry yeah. everyone. Okay. Um, I'm going to read some. The one arm sword. Luck says illiterate's very good from. Well, yeah. You need to be able yeah. to read all the scrolls and stuff. Exactly. Uh, the one armed sword mass of Anvil, Lin Ven Tsai, is available for combat training by selecting Learn to Fight. If you're new to fighting fantasy rules, you may wish to learn about stamina, skill, and luck. 
Yeah, uh, let's sure. find out now that that dude's actually trash. Uh, so let's learn to fight first of all. During your adventure, you may you will encounter many different foes. Blah blah blah. Fushi says better to fuck a giant than be fucked by one. I'm, uh, I think they actually had a very tender lovemaking session. Exactly. And, I would. Uh, I would. Yeah. Same I think it same. was very nice for everyone involved. Mm hmm But let us learn to walk before we run, shall we? Lin Wade Sai wants you to fight some Quintains, which will allow you to experience some. Okay. Finally, like you want to learn how to fight. How about you fight these? I dudes? think I think it should become a picture book if you can't read, or just all the text yeah. should disappear. Should be like, was it? Is it in Fallout One or Two, where it's if your intelligence is too low, you just go. Wah. Yeah, he's got. Okay, so you can choose to move or attack. Yeah. I... We're well, gonna. Yeah, yeah we oh, moving. They moved as well. After you select an action, Who both units. We'll play their move simultaneously. Okay. Simultaneous asynchronous. M move to the side. Fine. Yeah, I can dodge him. Whoosh. Sometimes it's better to attack when the enemy is likely to move instead of. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Sansu. Fair enough. Yeah, but how do I. You no, want you gotta, me? You got, yeah, they want you to go back. Oh, it's because they're going to move to there and you're going to go, chop them. Yeah. If both you and your foe try and attack each other at the same time, you will clash. It is then a test of who has the greatest skill oh. the loser taking damage. But I so, sh I'm super skillful, so... I don't know. I mean, you're much less skillful than you are just hearty. Oh, you have to roll dice. Fuuuuck. Very Fuck. lucky you and good. Your enemy will move and attack in somewhat predictable patterns. Pay, Pay attention, attention to when they shake. Oh, okay. No. Use your movement and attack to defeat the Quinte. Okay. Um. I think they're gonna go forward, so you should move one to the left. Or, or you can just attack straight there, I guess. Bonk. Yeah, got him. Now he's gonna move down there. I'm gonna attack. Yeah. Give no. Him oh. The... Oh. <gasps> he's oh. just waddling around. Well, in that case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh, okay. Now they're gonna attack. He's definitely gonna attack. Clash, go! Clash one. Uh, Hooray! He's, he's murdered that scarecrow. Okay, and now, in addition to basic attacks, you hear us a special attack that can unleash these attack powerful attacks and take several turns. All right, okay. Sure. Okay, yeah, move, move to there, and then does it, don't his, yeah, isn't Bladestorm, yeah. Let's see, Bladestorm is just here, here, and here, right? I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh shit, boom. Yeah, Got him. Oh yeah, good, good rolls. Yeah, um. Okay, now that I, one to the bottom is going to fight you. Yeah, and I can't blade storm, so we're gonna attack this dude. Clash. Oh, oh yeah, you just ultra murdered that guy, and now yep. you have two souls. You only need another 148. I'm gonna, to unlock I'm gonna a new character. Okay. Uh, there we go. Boom! Look at how good I am. You lost no stamina and gained three souls. Whoa. Okay, uh, let's learn about stamina, skill, and luck. Skill reflects your swordsmanship and general fighting. The higher the better. Stamina reflects your general uh, constitution, you, uh, you, uh, your will to survive, your determination overall fitness. Yeah. Uh, they will change constantly. Okay. Oh, nice. During your adventure, you will be called to test your luck and s test your skill. If the number rolled on d6 is equal to or less than your current luck or skill, you've been lucky or skillful. If the number rolled is higher than your current luck or skill, okay, so you can you want to roll lower. Yeah, you want to okay. roll. Okay, and your luck runs out. Oh, and every time you test your luck, it just goes to damn. Mm. Don't test your luck too much. Just be good. Oh, uh, it's a resurrection stone. Okay, uh, restore stamina. That's what I want on the tip. I want a finger on the page. No, take back, yeah. If your adventure dies heroically, you can use one stone to bring them back to life. Be warned, though, that your hero will 
only appear at the last bench you passed, but worry not, you will keep all souls absorbed between the seat and location of their death. I want to continue with my hero, and I want to know what activate free read mode is. If you're not feeling brave or simply want to sheet you uh, your way through a digital game book, free read mode could be for you. In order to correctly play <laughs> sal uh, collect so you must choose continue in classic mode. Uh, alternatively, you want an old if you want to be an old school cheater venturing into the mountain with all the story choices, battles, and skill rolls unlocked, choose free read. No, we're classicking it. Yeah, but let's, at least that's uh, good to know. There's a cheating one. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's bounce into this mountain. You can't move your mini around in that mountain. It's ridiculous. <laughs> After your two-day hike from Anvil, you reach the base of the infamous Firetop Mountain. It's been a long journey from your home city of Fang, capital of the small but prosperous province of Chiang Mai, and host of, of the Trials of Champions. You dream of winning the trial, uh, the, a grueling challenge to death, its reward a purse of 10,000 gold pieces. However, you must train your body and mind to their peak in preparation for the event. So we're going to go see if we die in a mountain, I guess. Hell yeah. You've heard tales of beasts similar to the one allegedly found in the Trial of Champions that resides in the mountain. A man of immense strength who has the head of a bull. Defeating him would make excellent training. <laughs> okay. The villagers also whisper timidly of the fearsome warlock of Firetop Mountain. A cruel warlock compared, you know, compared to all the other nice ones. Yeah. Whose fortune is built on the slaughter of innocent uh, citizens. You feel duty bound that if you happen across this unholy sorcerer, you will do all in your power to destroy him. You approach a cave, a known entrance used by a local band of orcs. Your hand grips the hilt of your sword as you consider what challenges may lie ahead. Your adventure starts here. I love those local orcs. Yeah. Lo oh, look at look at they've decorated the cave entrance, so that's five, nice. Five 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 egg for local orcs in your area. <laughs> uh, we're going to peer into the gloom. Oh. You see you see dark, slimy walls with pools of water on the stone floor in front of you. The air is cold and dank. Hearing faint scurrying to the east, you light your lantern. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely worried about rats. <laughs> this place seems perfect for my training. Cold, co weird smells of orc. Mm. I enjoy a good orc hunt. I don't know. I think we might be a baddie. If I we, feel like if we love to murder orcs. Are we sure we want to st step where uh, warily into the blackness? Wouldn't we be like, go, hello, I'm I'm here to kill you. Go boldly. Yeah. Approach the fork ahead. Boink, boink, boink. Oh, sweet, a fork. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, after a few yards, you arrive at a junction. Do you, do you think we should go east or west? There's some. There's an orc yeah, to the west. An orc, I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's go boldly west and get murdered. Hello, orc man. A, a little way along the passage, where you come to what is clearly a sentry post. <gasps> He's sleeping. He's got a nice hat, though. You, yeah. You approach approach with caution and see an orc in leather armor asleep at his post. I, I think this Sagor needs to employ more vigilant guards. This is almost too easy. Carefully approach the sleeping orc. There is no way through the orc other than straight in front of him. You could try and sneak past, or perhaps the direct approach might be better. Wake the orc and fight him, or try and tiptoe past. Well, Rabbitmonger is all for killing the orc and taking the hat. Uh, what are you feeling, Ethan? Uh, wake him up and fight him, because otherwise you're going to get two feet down. Yeah. And the sounds of battle will rouse him. Yeah, because there's, like, stuff here. Yeah, better to fight this Lion guy North. now and get ambushed by the stuff up ahead yeah. than... There's an angry snort from, 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 from the orc as he wakes. He grumpily gets up with a start, draws his weapon, and snarls at you, ready to fight. You should have just stabbed him to wake yeah, him up I instead of going, "Hey, buddy, hey, buddy, work it. Time the time the." Oh, well, at least he's not. Even you know what? Me. I thought I thought that was going to be an option, but it wasn't. Uh, okay, yeah, attack there because he's got to go there, right? Yeah, I would assume so. 
Whoa! Whoa, he's got a big stick! Oh, I shoved him. Yeah, he tried to move. Yeah, get him then, because he's... Oh, trying... you're stuck now, buddy. Yeah, now he's done, though. That's how... Oh, I'm actually... Uh, yeah, well... How yeah, you can't get out of here. I, I... He's done. Lost two ca stamina, gained yeah. two souls, 146 more to go. Boink, boink, boink. The passageway... Be I, so far, I find this very amusing. Uh, the passageway begins to widen until you enter a cave. However, blocking the cave exit are two of the ugliest creatures you have ever seen. They have the proportions <laughs> of dogs, but their hide is rough and scaly. Each beast is chained to the cave wall. Uh, secured to the thick brass collars. Tell them to go to bed. <laughs> the two orc hounds begin to snarl and strain at their chains. They cannot reach you, but their chains are long enough that should you approach, you will not be able to escape their slavering jaws. Killing these unfortunate creatures while chained to the walls would not be good sport. I can't believe, yeah, don't want to fight the dogs. Uh, you're going to have to deal with them quickly, one way or another, before they attract the attention of an orc patrol, or perhaps something even worse. You gonna feed the dogs, or I fight the dogs? I feel like we should feed the dogs, right? Yeah, feed the dogs. Yeah. It's, we're honorable. Oh, we don't, we... Oh, do, are we gonna give them our food? Because then yeah. we have to eat orc food later on. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, we should have just a... chopped up that orc we murdered. We should have. Uh, taking out a portion of your provisions, you throw the food towards the orc hounds. The hungry animals fight over the food for a moment, and then take the choicest piece, pieces to devour on opposite sides of the cave. Not hesitating for a second, you quickly pass between them. However, one of the orc hounds gobble down the food more quickly than the other, and as you pass by, it lunges at you, catching your calf with one of its vicious- Whoa, rude! I don't, I don't like this message where it's saying that gods, the, the god, dogs are dishonorable. Yeah, minus one stamina. You continue onwards. The passageway turns north. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm no, I'm. Oh, here's a one of these. A toilet. Yeah, a sit da sit down toilet. Uh, <laughs> player, I would strongly advise sitting on this bench. If you do not, Aaron Godspeed will not be able to resurrect at this point. I'm gonna sit here and rest. It's good, good to, to take, take a, a break. break. Yeah, it's good to take a break on yeah. your adventure. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh. Who even cares about getting yeah. bit by that dog? You can get bit by five dogs. To, uh, to your left, on the west face of the passage, there is a rough cut wooden door. You listen at the door and can hear a rasping sound, which may be some sort of creature snoring. Um, mm. Yeah, go on. Okay, I'm going to open the door then. As we know, we do always attack people in their sleep. Uh, the door opens to reveal a small, smelly room. In the center of the room is a rickety wooden table on which stands a lit candle. Underneath the table is a small wooden box. Asleep on a straw mattress, groaning in the far corner of the room, is a green-skinned orc. He's a stocky creature with an ugly, warty face. He must be the guard <laughs> for the night watch. Tell him to go to bed. I'm saying he's Ivy. <laughs> Another sleeping orc. Maybe this place was not a great choice for my training. It's too easy. So, are we going to steal the box or just wake him up and threaten him? Yeah, wake him up and threaten him. Yeah. Tell him to go suck hey, an egg. Hey, we got, uh, hang on. We, we got, uh, Stealthfire sent me 105 bits. Thank you so much. Welcome to the bit bucket. Yeah. It's very kind of you. Uh, storming over <laughs> to the sleeping orc. You heave him off his filthy straw mattress to wake him up. Get up, fool! You growl. Wait, hang on. Get, get, get up, get up do fool! Your most yeah, that's your most fearsome voice. Yeah. Get up, fool! No. I'm no, because when they when someone's got two swords yeah. and they speak to you like that, you know they're serious. Get up, fool! No, now you try. Now you know that they're. I'm trying too hard. Yeah. Yeah, so you know they're not scary. Get up! Get up, mate. Get bash, Oi! Bash, Oi! Bash your head in. <laughs> to your surprise, the the orc is up on his feet in an instant and very angry about being woken up. He draws his weapon and charges towards you with an with a almighty roar. Fight the orc! Shit. 
Well, okay, so... Okay. Huh. Yeah, move up on him. Yeah, see, look, you thought you were going to go that way to the other side of the table. Like, you were going to sit down and have a drink with him. Idiot. That's right, work. I I know, I know your game. Yeah, you so take that. No, roll a double. Right. Seven souls. Mm-hmm, gain two souls, though. It's not as good as the other one. I don't know what you I have defeated the orc. With the box in hand, you leave the room and open the box in the pas uh, passage. Inside, you find four gold pieces and a small mouse. Which must have been the creature's pet. And now, you killed it. I, I know, I apparently released the mouse. Well, you, which kill, yeah, you killed, the killed its owner. Now that mouse yeah. doesn't have a friend in the world. Sad. I'm going to follow this passage. You arrive at another door, you listen, but you hear nothing. Kick, kick the door open. I'm going to try opening the door. Oh, I'm good at it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. What's in here? Uh, the door opens to reveal a small room with a stone floor and dirty walls. There's a stale smell in the air. Hell yeah. In the center of the room is a makeshift wooden table on which is standing a lit candle. On the table is a small box, and the far corner of the room is a straw mattress. I mean, this is clearly the other orc's sleeping quarters, right? The guy who was actually on guard? So, it should be... Couldn't I have known that there were strange runes adorning the box before I tried to open it? As you pick it up, something rattles within. Crap! Oh, shit, oh, it's a snake. You, oh. I bet you wish you still had that mouse to feed it. So yeah. letting it go free. You open the lid and a small snake pops out of the box, eager to bite your wrist. Achievement unlocked! Oh, peanut brittle. Discover an old orcish trick. Even though you're surprised, you managed to dodge them. Who, Fight uh, that! The, oh, there's more than one. Who even? Yeah, small. Who even fills a box full of snakes? <sighs> Time to fight the snakes. Yeah, why do you? And then that snake just bit the table. Yep. He's Couldn't an idiot. even. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. Boom. Yeah, and then that one's gonna. Nah, you, uh, need to, you can save your special move. Yeah. He bit the table! That snake just smashed that table. He's so strong. He's moving over there. I'm I'm just in a like I don't trust the snakes. I'm just gonna keep yeah. attacking it. He's wily. Smash him up. Like that snakes. They don't know how to attack. He just didn't move and they were like, let's yeah. smash the table and then hit this. Let's let's uh let's confuse him. I've defeated the snakes. The box has fallen to the ground during your fight with the snakes. There appears to be nothing else inside. It must have been a practical joke made by one of the orcs. You continue uh, you decide to continue to head deeper into the orcs' barracks. <laughs> Why are snakes so dumb? They got tiny little brains. Yeah. Oh shit, do we want to go north or eastward? I feel like if we go east we might loop back on ourselves. So maybe yeah. we should keep going yeah, it's deeper into the cave. Northward. Yeah, look, there's a door. Oh, yeah, there's loads of noise. It's the worst singing you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, you to, uh, woof. Investigate the hideous din or continue up the passageway. You want to find out what the singing is? I, I feel like... Yeah, you we're just scared of some singing? Yeah, because... The door opens to reveal a small room. The room is dirty and unkempt. A straw mattress lies in one corner, and in the far corner, a flight of steps lead out of the chamber. In the center of the room is a wooden table upon which a candle burns, lighting the room with its flickering flame. A small box rests upon the table. Uh, under the why under the table? Seated around the table. <laughs> secret junk box again. Seated on uh, around the table are two small orcs with warty skin, dressed in leather armor. Yeah, time to fight. Look at them. They're having a great time. Give them, I hope they try and do the snake trick on you. Yeah. You already know about it. They're drinking some sort of grog, and by the way they stagger to their feet on your arrival, you assume they're very drunk. Drunken orcs could be dangerous. I should try and be polite. Uh, pull out your weapon and leap forward. Knock their drinks. That seems rude. 
Speak to the orcs, or slam the door quickly and run up the passage. Speak speak to the orcs. Yeah, I feel like we should try and understand them, right? Yeah. You say, greetings! For even orcs deserve basic courtesy. The orcs stagger towards you, burbling incoherently. One swings his mace wildly, posing no threat to your safety. The other seems more friendly, perhaps offering you a swig of his drink, or maybe just waving his mug around in the air. Either way, bo they both fall at your feet and pass out in a drunken stupor. Can we wake up and fight them now? Uh, looking around, you decide to take the box from underneath the table. Some letters that you cannot read are inscribed on a brass nameplate on its lid. Yeah, well, so... Yeah, but that's because, any letters. Open it. <laughs> I mean, we are illiterate. I would assume yeah. if we could read, we would know what's on it. We, We're clearly we opening the box. Or we'd go, that's all crying, but we don't know I mean, how to open it. I mean, 50-50, you get four gold. Open the box. The box contains a small leather-bound book. You open the pages and try and read, but you cannot read the printed words. Stupid. Comp I can't believe there are orcs making me feel dumb. Uh, hmm, do we want to go up the flight of yeah. stairs? We'll leave yeah, go, the corridor. Yeah, go up the stairs, because you've got to get to the top of the mountain where the warlock That's lives. That's true. Climbing the steps, you finally emerge out at the far end of a large room, as untidily kept as any you have encountered so far. A large chair behind a solid-looking table suggests that someone, or something of rank, uses this room. On one side of the room is a wooden bench. To your right, in the far wall of the room, is a large door that clearly leads onwards into the mountain. Well, that's an interesting picture. Uh, opposite, opposite you is a small man-sized creature with a warty face, standing over a smaller creature of similar face. With a whip in hand, the orc chieftain has been beating his servant, who's whimpering beneath him. So we can threaten the pair of orcs, attack them both, spring at the chieftain and hope his servant will aid you, attempt to leave the chamber without engaging in combat. Uh, I feel like we should, uh, spring at the chieftain. Yeah, we're going to rescue the tiny man. Yeah. I think attempting to leave the chamber would be in... No, that's so good. <laughs> As you spring at the orc, his servant rises to his feet, picks off a hefty wooden stick and joins the melee. But to your disappointment, he attacks you. Ungrateful wretch. Achievement unlocked. Thanks I agree with everyone. Where's the option to help the chieftain be the clearly unruly <laughs> servant who deserves it? Wait. Okay, so we, we can escape or we can continue the fight. Well, now you need to slay both of them. Yeah. So anyone you try and help in future Fight might be more grateful. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do what I have been doing so far and just. Oh. Oh attack. yeah. No, he's, yeah. He's not gonna. Yeah. He's so, okay. So that dude's okay. There. So they're fighting the table right now. Yeah. I'm gonna move over here. Oh, we just running around the table like it's a Benny Hill sketch. Uh, I'm moving back. There we go. Okay. Whoa! He's got a big whip. It looks like he's going to yeah. move, though. Ah, oh, damn it. He moves sideways, like the snakes do. I don't like any of this. That's nice, right. Nice maneuvering. Uh. Oh, I'm going to blade storm here so I at least hit this dude, I think. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to move. Yep, there we go. Yeah, and no, now he's, he's definitely going to attack you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Three yeah. souls. Boom. Oh, no. Listen, well, Churl, I just saved you from... I'm just going to keep attacking him, because if he moves around, he can't... Like, he's he can't that do anything barrel. anyway. He yeah. Like, oh, yeah, he's definitely going to jump in that barrel and try and hide from me. I defeated the orcs. I lost stamina. The green, the green blood of the dead orc smells foul as it seeps from their bodies. There is chess nearby. You step around the corpses and decide to investigate. It's a sturdy construction made of strong open iron and is firmly locked. Smash the box. Smash it. Yeah, smash it. The lock was obviously inadequate. It flies off and lands on the floor several meters away. You lift up the heavy lid and your eyes widen as you see the gold sheen coming from within. A fair number of gold pieces are inside. In one corner lies a small black bottle with a tight glass stopper, containing a liquid of some kind. 
But as you're admiring this treasure, you hear a soft click and wince in pain as a small dart shoots forward into your stomach. Minus three! You sink to the floor. You pull the dart out and decide to bandage the wound. This gives some relief, but you are still weak. You decide to take it easy and examine the content of the chest. There is a stash of gold pieces and a full bottle with the paper stuck in it. On the paper are strange inky marks, which you cannot read! 25 gold pieces! Well, you should take it, just in case you find Clearly. something you can read. You, find, you take the strange bottle, it might come handy in your adventures. I'm gonna sit on the bench and rest. Yeah, get all that stamina back. Mmm, five Beautiful. stamina. Beautiful, as if nothing happened. Yeah, leave the Move room on. through the north door. Well, we're gonna we're gonna walk yeah, straight, straight on because we saw where that leads. Exactly. Oh, look, yeah, look, that's a, a skull stairs. That's definitely to the boss up north. Yeah, going north. Whew. Very intense. The passageway leads into a square dungeon chamber. There are two doors in the eastern wall and two on the western wall. On the opposite side of the room, there's another passageway that leads away north. The first door to the right is well used. And putting your ear to the keyhole, you listen and hear a man screaming for help from the inside. Before deciding what to do next, you listen at the other doors as well. From behind the second door to the right, you hear a thumping sound on the wood. Hello? Hello? Not funny. Open the door. The first door to your left is made of solid metal. Listening at the door, you hear the sound of tortured screams coming from within. Putting your ear to the second door to your left, you hear nothing. I don't like this guy. I don't like this where this guy is like, oh, I hear someone calling for help. I better just listen to what else I hear. Yeah. But yes. Hmm. Mm. Instead of, wow, I should help that person. I'm a good so, boy. So, um, let's see. Which which door should we open first? The, the tortured one? The guy who, let's see, what was it? Uh, screaming for help. Then there's the guy who says, hello, hello. And then... Uh, first door on the left is tortured screaming. The man screaming for help. So not the tortured screaming. Yeah, yeah, the tortured screaming. Okay, that's the first door on the left. The door is not locked and opens. The room in front of you seems to be a small torture chamber with various torture devices around the walls. In the center of the room, two small hunchback goblins are having... Their fiendish way with a dwarf. Oh, who is oh, tied sorry, to, <laughs> he's tied to a hook in the ceiling by his wrists. The two hunchbacks are poking and cutting him viciously with their swords. The dwarf lets out a final scream and falls silent, eye closed. His captors make disappointing no noises and look around angrily at you if it was your fault that the dwarf has collapsed. Glad to be service and uh, like yeah. be of service and help that. <laughs> yeah, stab him. Do it. Fuck it. Fuck the wall. You can still his own and go. <laughs> you feel guilty, but try and put the dwarf uh, quickly out of his misery. The two goblin torturers look at each other amazed, then look at you, then chatter to themselves, and then indicate for you to wait while they go off and get another dwarf to give them some more fun. Achievement a lot. Stabby, stabby. Have no I disagree. Compass. I disagree because clearly one of the reasons you can have to do that is put him out of his misery because he's gonna die and you can do yeah. it quick. So that's a good thing. I mean, just because we fucking hate dwarves doesn't mean we have no moral compass. <laughs> we have a moral compass that points to hating dwarves. Okay. Uh, they disappear out the room and you cut down the dwarf who is, as you guess, quite dead. Yeah, we stabbed him to death. Yeah, we killed him. You decide it best to leave before the goblins return. Leave the torture chamber. You stand in the Yorkish dungeon. Uh, okay. Open the first door on the right containing the screaming yeah, man. One. Yeah. Open the second door on the right, which you can hear thumping. Open the second door on the left. Ned, okay. Screaming man. There's someone over here, by the way. You Dwarves unbolted... aren't little people. Yeah, you unbolt the door and swing it open. A nauseating stench hits your nostrils. Inside the room, the floor is covered with bones, rotting vegetation, and slime. A wild-haired old man, clothed in rag, rushes at you. Well, okay. Uh... So he's, that dude's having a good time. Uh, yeah. 
His beard is long and gray, and he's waving an old wooden share leg. Is he simply insane as he appears, or has there been some kind of, tr or has this been some kind of trap? A threat and even to submission, because he may be crazy, but you're really scary. <laughs> Try to shout at him and calm him down. Calm down, you lunatic. Calm or, down! Or Why sit won't down. you calm down? Be quiet! Okay, so we'll threaten him into submission. You shout a fearsome threat to the old man. Submit! Submit, fool, or taste my blade! Told ya. The immense... <laughs> Emaciated man drops his makeshift weapon and immediately runs towards the filthiest corner of his cell and huddles in it, shaking violently. Instantly, you realize that you've gone too far. The old man has been pushed beyond his mental limit. <laughs> this pitiful creature is terrified out of his wits. I shall get nothing out of him. Leave Good. the filthy cell. Okay, so... Should we go for the door where we hear thumping yeah, yeah, or the, the thumping. second door on the left? The thumping and I hope it's okay. not a ball, uh, like a bed hit in the wall because yeah. I don't like it sexy dungeon. <clears throat> oh shit. As you approach the door, the banging gets louder and the bolt starts to shake. Come on, Gnirk. Let out. Waking up. Sliding back the rusty bolt and opening the door, you come face to face with a panicked looking goblin with a horrific creature closing in behind it. Slime beast, slime beast, run! Squeaks the panicked goblin and lashes out at you. The toad-like slime beast joins in on the fray, opening its wide mouth. It's full of long, spiked teeth. Fight the monsters! Is he saying? Is he telling slime beast to run, or is he telling us to run? Because there's a slime I, beast. I'm the second, I think. Uh, oh, he's actually quite skilled, but I'm still going to We weren't him. cruel to the dwarf. It said we put him out of his misery. We were the opposite of cruel towards the dwarf. If we were cruel, yeah. we would have left him there. Or set him on fire. What? Who attacked me? The gobbo. Did he? I think so. He's a weirdo. I'm gonna attack this square. No, see his. See that I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack this square again. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Boom. And attack it again. No, it's the, yeah, it is the goblin that's attacking me. What a rude boy. Yeah, now that dude's gonna move to there, I believe, right? He's moved side. I don't like these dudes who move sideways. No. Yeah, dude, I... Ah, uh, uh, damn it. I hate this Sidewinder Gobbo. Okay, he's gonna attack you because he's wiggled. Oh, yeah, he... Yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting about the wiggles. Lost four stamina, but defeated the monsters. There initially, only one monster there. Yeah, initially... <laughs> initially, it looks like there's nothing of value in the slime beast cell. However, upon a second glance, you notice a blue candle sitting in the muck. Take Hell yeah, candle. I love that I have been binding the Isaac. Although it's an odd place for the candle, you decide to take it with you. It may come in handy in one of the darker areas of the dungeon. You put it in... Okay. Hell yeah, we got surely. a that we don't know what it does, and a blue candle. Yeah, surely, second door on the left. Ooh, the door is unlocked. Opening it, you find yourself at the threshold of the orc's we weapon store. Oh, store. A, uh, a torch hangs from one wall, lighting up a small armory stocked with swords, shields, helmets, daggers, breastplates, and the like. I really yeah. want this to be a weapon store, as in like a shop. That's what I. Th that's how I read it at first. And I was like, there'd be a. <laughs> you they'd do be not like, use a shield. It is worthless to you. Yeah. Well, they'd fuck just you. be like, I, I want there to be an orc that just goes, "Howdy, stranger." <gasps> what are you buying? Uh, a circular iron shield with a golden crescent lies at the far end of the room. However, as you do not... I'm going to search the yeah, room. Search find, find something out of those millions yeah. of swords. Uh, you poke around the room. The weapons are blunted and worthless, and the helmets are battered and rusty. You decide to inspect the breastplates on the shelves to see if there's anything worthwhile. Behind one of the breastplates is a shiny key. It seems quite important. You decide I know, to take it. I know, even a rusty hat. Sargor's key found. Oh, that's that... the warlock's name. 
What's is he, it, he or, doing down here? Yeah. Or is it the guy we're fighting? No, it's the warlock, right? Yeah, the warlock was a zag of war. Yeah. Okay. The Leave the, the chamber. The we're gonna go. Man. We're gonna go fight that dude now. Minotauro. Exiting the dungeon, you hear the sound of water ahead of you and make out a grilled uh, por uh, portcullis at the end of the passageway. Before you can reach the portcullis, you will have to cross a bridge that passes over a gully of gurgling, brackish water. You suspect it may actually be a sewer, judging by the smell rising from it. Make and also with the chocolate bars in it. Mm -hmm. uh, as you make your way towards the bridge, you pass some goblins, which appear uglier than all the creatures you have encountered so far. I feel like our dude is like really rude because every everything is uglier than the last one. Like the first yeah, thing he's like, is oh, like, you're truly hideous. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you've got warts. Well, may maybe like every like, like his descriptor of the goblin torturers wasn't that they were torturers; it was they were hunchbacked. Yeah. I, I think this dude's very judgmental. As as you make your way towards the bridge, you pass him. Yeah, okay. The instant one of the goblins catches sight of you, it gives a screech of surprise and runs at you with its short sword drawn. Kill, kill, it shouts, drawing the attention of the two other goblins. They all attack. Fight the goblin guard. No. <laughs> Wait, are we? <laughs> we did we get surrounded. No, we're good. Hmm. I do not like these awful sidewards moving. Yeah, I'm gonna twin. We're gonna twin charge. Oh, you think that? Oh, they're all moving at you at one, and then you move forward and hit them. Holy shit! Uh, and now I think I'm gonna move over here. Oh no! I okay. I I can't. I can only. Yeah. I can move back, or I can blade storm. Yeah, blade storm all of them. Wait, why? Hang on. Yah, oh, you fuckers! It's okay. You killed that one, and now you have twenty-one songs. Let's see. Move. Yeah. Oh, look at that. These scoundrels think they can get you with their pointy sticks. Gonna attack here. Yeah. See? Boom. That guy didn't wiggle, so he's moving uh, somewhere. Yeah. Oh. What is this dude's problem? Now he wiggled, so... But he can't attack you, right? Not from there, no. surely. But he... Yeah, uh... okay, yeah. He's just gonna attack... This dude's an idiot. No, he's gonna... Yeah. Okay, so he's, 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 moving he's moving somewhere. So he's either moving diagonally somewhere, I think. Yeah, I think he's gonna go to there. Oh, I can twin strike. So that should. Oh, yeah, oh no, him! What the? It's okay, you followed Bastard. him. Okay, he's gonna attack you. Yeah. Well, or attack somewhere. Yeah. He's an idiot. Your move, creep. Yeah, he keeps backing up. Oh, well, now he's just gonna be stuck in that corner, so. Yep. Nice job, dude. <laughs> Tactical Good. mastermind do these awful, ugly goblins are not. Mm -hmm. Foul. Creatures. Hooray! Victory! We lost no stamina and gained six souls. We have defeated the goblins. Take that, sewer yeah. guards. <laughs> Man goblin says this game looks pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry. An iron, uh, put, an, an iron put colors blocks your way and no amount of char charging is going to budge it. If only we had... Oh. Well, we can... Pull some levers. Apparently, if you click it, you can make the pic the picture. You can make it go back and white. Oh Whoa. yeah, just, just like it would be in the shitty book. On the wall to your right, there are two levers, and it seems likely that these levers have something to do with raising the board colors. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, left or right? Uh, both. Well, that's not an option. Well, I mean, it sounds like to me like we've got a railroad in GM. Yeah. So, we're going to go with the right option, because that's always the right one. You hear a deep, rumbling sound, and the ground begins to shudder. Slowly and noisily, the portcullis rises into the ceiling. <laughs> it looks as though I've now left the orc barracks. I think I've probably killed around 13 and Okay. You know what, Ethan? About 13 enemies yeah, about have been 13. killed. Without hesitation, you walk towards the junction, listening carefully. However, you hear nothing down either corridor. 
you know what? We've been recording for a while, so I'm going to put a stop in here. But I think we'll keep going, so there should be another episode for YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube.